Okay, so this is uh, 8.1, which is integer, integer multiplication. So we're going to represent integers. Uh, you guys did this last year. One red chip is plus one, and one blue chip is negative one. So if you have one together, a, a plus one and a negative one, of course, plus one and negative one equals zero. So we can always have that as well. So on to our first question. So we're going to use multiplication using integer, um, integer chips. So we're going to determine each product using the integer chips. So when we get a plus 5 right here, we've got, there's two ways to look at this side right here. We can either look at them as putting in or we can taking we can look at them as taking out now this side's a lot easier when we've got positive 2 we're going to put in a positive number so we've got 5 we've got 1 and 2 and there's 1 plus 2 and then 2 and then 3 4 and 5 so we've got here there's 1 2 3 4 and 5, or you can look at it like this, and there's 5 and 5. 5 plus 2s and 5 plus 2s. So when you count them up, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You have the answer equals 10. So that's the very first question. Multiplying uh, positives is pretty easy. Um, again, it's plus 5, plus plus 2 equals 10. We just did that one. This one's a little different. We're putting in, putting in because it's a positive, we're going to put in negative numbers. So we've got the blue chip here. We're going to take 6, 1, 2, there's two negatives, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, so there's one group, 1, 2, 3, 4, we need two more, and there you go. So when you count them up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, you get 12, so 12 negatives. So 6, a positive 6 times negative 2 equals negative 12. So the next one is, again, this negative right here. The last one was positive, and it was putting in. This one is negative, which means it's taking out. So we take out positive numbers because this one is positive. So we can't take out because there is nothing right here. There's nothing to take out. So we have to add zero groups. So there's one zero group. Oops. And we can add as many zero groups as we would like. I know the answer, so I'm going to put out six. And we're taking out positive numbers. So we want to take out groups of three, and we're going to do this two times. So we're going to take out this positive number, that positive number grows over here, that positive number, that positive number, that positive number, that positive number, and this positive number. So these are all gone. Those are done. What we're left with are these positive numbers over here. One, two, three, four, five. 5 and 6. Sorry, I meant negative numbers. Those are negative numbers over here. So we've got 6 negative numbers. So our answer right here is negative 3 times positive 2 equals negative 6. The next question. We are going to We've got a negative, which means we are going to take out 
We've got a negative here, so we're going to take out negative numbers. Now, when you go here, again, we can't have nothing, so we need negative numbers. We've got 4 times 2, so we know we should put down 8. We're just not sure if it should be positive or negative, because it's just simple multiplication. It's just depending on whether it's positive or negative, and that's what we're trying to figure out. So there are zero groups. So we know that this is 1, this is 0, 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 0, 0. So all of this adds up to zeros. So that all adds up to zero. So we've got zero on the board right now. When we take out negative numbers, we have to take out the negative numbers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. What we're left with are eight positive numbers right here. So we've got positive eight left over. When we have two negatives, the answer was positive eight. Okay? I hope this under or makes it a little bit clear. There's a show you know, A through D, A, B, C, D, on page 289. Please do that. So example, and this is the last example we're going to do before the um, before you guys show me your homework or start your, start on your homework, apply integer multiplication for five hours. The temperature in Flint Flon, which is an actual place in Manitoba, fell by three degrees each hour. What was the total change in temperature? Well, when we go down, we're going to start here. We've got five hours. For five hours, the flint flan fell by, fell, which is a negative, fell by three degrees each hour. So what was the total change in temperature? So we go five times three. So we can't, this means, because there's a positive here, means we're putting in negative numbers. We've got positive. We're putting in negative numbers. So 5, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and then finally 1, 2, and 3. So we've got 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So positive 5 to times negative 3 equals negative 15. That's the final page. Uh, show me the show you know, and then I will give you the answers. Thanks.